Kuncassius IFL TV MTK Global at the MS Bank Arena, formerly known as the Echo Arena. I'm joined by Hosea Burton. How are you, mate? I love that shirt. Thank you. If you get me one in my size from whoever you, you got it off. Yeah, shoplifters. <laughs> shirt. It's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. How are you? I'm good. Um, okay, so we learned a little bit from Eddie Hearn the other day about some potential reasons why the fight with Craig Richards wasn't done. It was originally scheduled or ske scheduled but planned for April the 20th. Mm -hmm. yep. um, he said there was kind of possibly an issue financially with that on, and he's kind of indicated it was towards Craig Richards' fight. Yeah. Uh, what was your understanding of why that fight isn't happening for that date? Um, the reason that fight isn't happening is because Craig Richards wanted too much money. Uh, he, he, he done an interview with you saying that um, it broke down on our side, which it never. When I seen that interview, I was absolutely fuming because we had already signed everything on my side two weeks ago. But they was demanding more money. Eddie basically must have said no, and that's why the fight never happened. But I would love the Richards fight. Absolutely love it. Have the negotiations for that started again about potentially that fight happening maybe in July? We know that Eddie's going back to the O2 in July. Could that possibly still happen for this summer? Hopefully. Hopefully it happens as soon as possible. As soon oh. as possible. Just getting faces behind me. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, listen, any time I, I stay in the gym, I'm always ticking over fit. All I need is a couple of weeks and I'm ready to say yes. Mm. Um, I just love that fight as soon as possible. Listen, I don't think Craig's scared. You know, he's a fighting man. We're both fighters. And... Uh, We've got a lot of comedians oh. everywhere. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> we'll get him in a minute. Um, right, so um, yeah, Craig Richards fight. That was that's the first one. That's the one I like first. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Well, like I said, that fight, as we were learning, that was quite close to being made for that date, which would have been in three weeks' time. Yeah. A little while ago, but let's hope it gets made in the summer and a deal can be done. Yeah, sooner the better. Fight. For me, sooner the better. Okay. I will uh, ask your thoughts on Anthony Yard potentially fighting Sergei Kovalev. First uh, bids are due soon, I believe, if a deal can't be reached. Yeah. You're smiling. He's the A-side, isn't he? <laughs> oh, come on. That's not, even, it's not even, it's not even fair, is it? Well, you know, there's <clears throat> comments from Tundi, to be fair, not Anthony Yard, about the A-side thing and having Yeah, it's not, things. well, it's not actually Yard's fault this time. Yard needs to go and have a good word with Tundi. Probably give him a clip or two. I say, listen, you're a man now. Act like a man and speak like a man. But the fight itself, Jose, <coughs> what do you think of Anthony's chances of... Uh... Slim and none. Okay, you don't really give him much of a chance No, then. he's got no chance, listen. He's got no chance against me, never mind Kovalev. So, Kovalev alerting. Mm. No. It's not even a good talking point. Like he's just get everything you've got and everything you can lend that cover level chin him. Mm. But I mean, listen, you guys are in the sport to fight the best, and Kovalev is one yeah. of the best. So from that side of it, yeah, he is. Yes, yeah. Kovalev is one of the best. But there's levels, man. He, he needs to go and fight the best in Britain or the best in London, even. I don't know, best somewhere. Just, I don't know. What's kind of your plan B if the Richards fight doesn't materialise next? Fight anybody who will fight me, because that, you never hear anybody calling me out. I don't know why you can't get a fight, because that no. division, domestically, is so good. Yes. And but, but right, you, seem to be, you, you seem to be the one that is struggling to kind of get, get the fights. Get the right. fights yeah. I don't sell loads of tickets, but I'm very hard to beat. I've lost a handful of rounds in my pro career. Um, I've got no, no titles to take off. No one can take a title off me because I've not got one. But it's just I'm a high risk fight. Not many people want to fight me. In mm. fact, nobody wants to fight me because I've not had a fight in five months. I mean, just going back to obviously what we were talking about with, well, I did interview Pete, uh, Peter Sims and, and Craig Richards. So that was their side. And then I spoke to Eddie Hearn about that. And yep. he kind of said it was on really towards Richard's side. Yes. From what we were talking about. So this is your side. But I'm only going from what people are, are kind of are telling me. So you were saying you were kind of filming about what they were saying. But there will always come a, a point like now where 
you had your opportunity to kind of put your side across? Well, yeah, well, my side was that they wanted too much money. We, he was getting way more than I was getting, and um, they wanted more, and Eddie basically said no, mm. no to it. So, listen, we, we will fight. Look, I'm making it clear. I would love to fight Craig Richards, and I guarantee stop him. Get back to me. Listen, Craig Richards, you will watch this. Get back to me. Certainly hope the fight happens. So do I. Right, I'll let you crack on. You and your Louis Vuitton crack on. Yeah. For the night. It's so. Louis Vuitton, as Tundu would say. <laughs> Thank you very much, all right? right. Cheers, Jose. Go on.